Well, on Friday, the guilt innocence phase of the Mark Howerton retrial came to an end. And again, a high profile case ended with the jury finding the defendant not guilty of murder, but guilty of the lesser charge. Our court reporter, Erica Hernandez, joins us now to talk more about the verdict. And Erica, remind us again why this was a retrial. So that first trial took place back in 2019 and the jury couldn't decide. There wasn't any lesser charges on there for them to consider. It was just the murder charge and they ended up in an eight four split. So it ended up in a mistrial because the jury couldn't come up with the verdict then. Was there anything that was different this time regarding testimony or evidence presented? I think the big difference we saw was they didn't put one of the, what they thought at the time was a, a good witness, which was Kaylee Mandati's ex-boyfriend, who claimed he had saw them at the Malaluna Festival before they left and that he kind of like jerked her and took her away and forcefully, which ended up being all a lie on the stand. We heard that in 2019. They didn't even put him on the stand this time around. And I think that was a big difference for the state, as well as adding those lesser charges to the charge of the court that the jury could consider. Speaking of the lesser charges, why do you think the jury went with that lesser charge? I think after seeing the whole trial, seeing how it played out, I think the state still really couldn't prove intent that he intended and planned to kill her. Yes, even the defense, his defense attorney said he wasn't a good guy. He wasn't a good boyfriend, but that didn't mean he intended to murder her. And I think there was really never any full solid evidence to prove that. And I think that is why the jury had a hard time coming up with that, that murder conviction and end up going with that aggravated assault charge. Okay, next up is punishment. When will that be taking place? So there's not a hard date set yet. We were told um, in court last Friday that they looked about two weeks out um, Howerton is behind bars. He was reprimanded at the time that that guilty verdict came down. So he's sitting in Bear County Jail right now. He's not out. He's not waiting for it to be to happen. He is sitting in Bear County Jail. It'll be about two weeks. They, they expect for us to go back for a sentencing hearing, which he has elected the judge to sentence him, not a jury. So they'll put up some witnesses both side, kind of like a regular um, trial hearing. But for punishment and then the judge would decide and that punishment range reduced significantly when it was second degree felony that the uh, the jury picked. So it's now two to 20 anywhere from that range that the judge can pick for his sentence. All right. Well, Erica, thank you so much for covering this and then we'll uh, keep following you to see what happens in the punishment phase. Yep. We'll have it. I'm sure we'll have it once it's up. Erica, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys. It's a pleasure.